What's going on, failures? And happy anniversary of the moon landing. Um, I figured that I would make a video for the anniversary because it's just kind of fun and I think it was a pretty cool event, you know? Uh, some say it might be fake. Who knows? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it was. But, um, yeah, so I just figured for the anniversary of the moon landing, we would kind of just look around at the NASA website, just check out a few things about it, and uh, just show you what it has to offer. Um, because it has a lot of, like, really cool stuff that you can look at, and it's definitely worth it. I am definitely a space nerd, so uh, I figured that I would just show you some things. So, first here, let's look at the NASA's response to um, the pandemic. I don't want to say the actual, you know, word, because I don't know how YouTube's doing it, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, so, this is kind of cool. It's got seeing the, the pandemic from space, and it's just got, kind of got a, like, map here of the, uh, pandemic, and you can tell where the spots that, like, hit I guess kind of are um, you can see in like the red it's got like a lot of cases and then in like other spots here it's got less um, as you can tell I uh, am recording this video way before it's gonna go up so this is still in pretty peak pandemic uh, now when it's gonna go up it's probably gonna be not as bad or at least let it let's hope so that is the hope but uh, this is kind of like really neat and also it's like kind of depressing as well because there is a lot of red there is a lot of red um, but like red is the most it looks like like the deep red and then um, blue is less so that was kind of neat um, so let's look at the next thing here uh, let me find something else interesting to look at let's look at another pandemic related thing in mid-March, as much of the country shut down in response to the rapidly spreading novel C virus, a team of engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California got to work. Doctors nearby needed ventilators, so the team set out to design an inexpensive version that wouldn't use any of the same parts as traditional ventilators, so as not to compete for supplies. So yeah, you guys kind of get the idea here. They're doing a, a lot to help, like just because they are um, NASA, um, that doesn't mean that they just do space things, you know? Uh, they also do all sorts of other like really cool things, like they can help out with ventilators and stuff to help with uh, the C virus, uh, as I suppose I'm calling it now. So it's just really cool to see what they can do to help out and the different things that they um, can do outside of simply space-related um, endeavors. So yeah. Ooh, they even have like pictures and stuff. That's pretty neat. I like that they include pictures of like what they're doing, things like that. Ooh, that looked neat. Um, well, anyway, let's go back. And if you go to uh, NASA at home, then this is what I really wanted to show you guys because NASA at home is where I was like, ooh, this is really cool, uh, especially during the pandemic. Um, so they've just got a bunch of like really cool like little things that you can do at your own house. Uh, like be a scientist. Um, you can classify Martian terrain to help future rovers learn to navigate on their own and like that helps out NASA. So if you're a space nerd like me, you can do something fun while also like helping NASA. Isn't that so cool? Like I just think that's awesome. Um, and then Backyard Worlds, search the realm beyond uh, for things like that. Like it's just, it's, it's so neat. I just love it so much. There's so many cool like little things and it's just awesome. Uh, and then something else I discovered uh, during the pandemic is that NASA has podcasts. Oh my gosh. So I've been listening to Houston. We have a podcast. Uh, I've listened to the first two episodes of it, I believe. Um, it's just, a, it's just really awesome and I love it. Uh, but I have been listening to like a bunch of podcasts. So I've been listening to this podcast. Uh, I've been listening to podcasts on Spotify. Um, so if you guys want any recommendations for podcasts, like, oh my gosh, I got you. I love it. Um, as So this podcast, obviously, and all the other NASA podcasts are amazing. But also I've been listening to Distractable, which is um, Markiplier, Wade, and... Um, Bob doing a podcast together and they just kind of tell stories and stuff like that. So Distractable is really good. Um, SCP podcasts are awesome because you get to learn more about SCPs while also, you know, doing like podcasts. Uh, I'm just kind of clicking around here, but uh, and the Trash Taste podcast is very good. It's on YouTube and on Spotify. Um, Trash Taste is just like talking about anime and stuff. It's the anime man uh, and crew talking about stuff. And then Ronstadt is... Um, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning, they have, like, a scripted podcast that is, like, really good. 
Um, and the artwork looks really cool, too. So, Distractable SCP podcasts are awesome. I listen to SCP Reel to Reel, uh, Trash Taste, and then Ron Stat. So, those are my um, podcast recommendations, uh, as well as the NASA uh, podcast, obviously. So, I've kind of just been clicking around to get to our next thing, but um, these virtual tours, very cool. Uh, Hubble viewing a dazzling fireworks ga galaxy. I almost said gallery. I just love, I love... I love space. It looks so pretty. So this is just, let me just actually save this image real quick um, so that I can make it my like lock screen or background or something like that because it's so pretty. I just love space pictures and things like that. And um, yeah, because I already have a background that is space, but I want, uh, I think it's time for a new one. So um, my sister, she... Uh, I kind of influenced her towards making, like, having, like, space backgrounds and stuff. She's partial, like, sunsets and things like that as her background, but I influenced her a little towards the, like, space background, so she's got that on her iPad, and then she keeps sunsets on her phone, like, sunsets and sunrises on her phone, so. Um, and then the Perseverance, right? Yeah, Perseverance <laughs> rover. Yay! This was such a cool thing. Um, when I'm recording this, the Perseverance rover pretty much, like, just launched, I believe, um, and I love its, like, little drone. I forget the name of it. What is it? Perseverance and, mm, I forgot. It probably says somewhere in here, um, but, yeah, Perseverance and its little, like, uh, drone, I, it's just, it's so cool. It's just more steps towards awesomeness, and I'm just so excited. It's gonna be awesome. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so... J818, a new member to the exclusive family of exotic objects with the discovery of a magnet, magnetar? Yeah? Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Dude, oh my gosh, this is so neat, my goodness. And it's very pretty, I mean, look at that sky. Look at that sky. One of the things I really want to do is go to like one of the states that's kind of in the middle of the country where they have the least amount of light pollution and look at the stars from there because, oh my gosh, it's, it's so pretty, I just, ugh. I just, that's something I really want to do. I, I, I'm going to do it at some point. I don't know when, but it's going to happen at some point. Um, so, yeah, the, let's look at this. Space freighter departs the International Space Station moments before being released. Ooh, that's really cool. I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of clicking around and looking at, I, everything on this site is cool. Just look at the site. Ooh, I love image of the day. Image of the day is one of my, like, favorite things because they always are so pretty. I mean, look at that one. Look at the, like, colorful one. Like, oh, my gosh, that's gorgeous. And then a picture of Earth from the moon. Like, that was so pretty, too. Like, oh, my gosh. Ooh, look at that one of, uh, I'm assuming that's a rocket that's, like, blue and, like, floofy. Just, I, I, I just love it. Ooh, yeah, let's look at the image galleries uh, since we looked at the image of the day. Let's see what other pictures they have. Oh my gosh, I love, I don't know why, like, you know, it's pictures of people, you know, like, big deal, but I love seeing pictures of, like, NASA uh, people, like, in space, just like people who work for NASA in space, astronauts, yeah, that's the word, astronauts, got them on there. <laughs> but I just love seeing astronauts, like, actually in space and things like that. Ooh, photoplankton factory in the sea, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is just, like, really neat goodness gravy I love space okay sorry I, this is the whole video is just gonna be me like nerding out and I apologize but also I don't apologize at the same time because like it's really cool not gonna lie well we can just end here uh, as it looks so pretty um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really would appreciate you checking out the NASA website because it's just so cool and I hope that I showcased all this cool stuff that it has to offer um and the podcasts are really chill it's just like a bunch of guys like well you know space guys talking about like space stuff and it's just really neat so check out the podcasts uh check out the website uh look at the at home stuff uh help them out do cool activities and things like that it's just awesome they got stuff for kids adults obviously and just everything like it's just it's so neat so go check them out they're awesome and yeah that's about it. NASA's cool. Space is awesome. Do stuff. All right. Subscribe if you want. Like if you liked it and comment if you have something to say. And I will see you on the flip side.